What's going on everybody? Marcus here again here with a quick video. Um, it's been a little over a month since Shadowlands has launched and I've had some interesting experiences gearing in Shadowlands compared to previous expansions and I came across this video by Preach. I really enjoy Preach's work and he came out with this video. I haven't actually seen it yet and I figure well why not uh, go ahead and do a quick live reaction video and I can give my thoughts uh, on the gearing experience and see if we agree or disagree on anything. So uh, let's give it a shot. With me, I found something more rewarding than M+. <laughs> his videos are they're getting funny with his little quirky stuff. All right. Today we're talking about gear, and this is always going to rub people the wrong way, because no matter what happens, nobody's going to be happy. But one thing's to say, True. gear is causing problems in the Shadowlands, and not unexpectedly so. It was one of the biggest changes coming in, and we made people aware of it, yet now we're in the reality, people are starting to find it to be very, very unrewarding to do certain things, and that's causing them to simply not do those things. Blizzard went out of their way this time to make sure certain things couldn't happen. They intentionally dropped the item level of Mythic Plus so that heroic raiders could not trade any gear amongst themselves. They didn't want people anymore to be able to gear up via Mythic Plus, then go into raiding and be able to pass certain items around. They wanted to reduce the amount of items you get. They then nerfed the amount of loot that raids dropped after the game went live in order to, once again, reduce the amount of items you guys can get. Then, during the World First race, which finally concluded, we saw that heroic split raiding was the absolute forefront of a lot of plays that those guilds did, organizing individual runs for one singular player and buying in so many traders to try and ensure that that person could get those items. So from all of this, what we can say is True. if you are progress minded or you care about your character, gear is more important than ever. Every time you get an upgrade, it's tangible. You do feel it. And I I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with every piece of gear being important. And I think that any piece of gear you get should always be an upgrade if it's an item level. I will say honestly, as a pro to the change to this system, I care what bosses drop again. I'm interested to see when I click that loot, that corpse, what is going to be on it. Will I get my weapon this week? Will I not? And then if I don't, I feel, ah, next week. I haven't felt that way in a very long time. However, many other areas are, of course, deeply, deeply hurt, especially if you're on the more casual side. Mythic Plus has never felt as unrewarding as it does now. It's actually painful. Certainly if you are grinding, <laughs> say, 14s and 15s. So, obviously for the top-end people, Mythic Plus is not rewarding because they can't just go in there and supplement their gear anymore. For players like me, it's actually been quite rewarding because it's a way to supplement the fact that I'm not getting anything from the boss drops. I've gotten one piece of gear in the two or three weeks of raiding on two separate turns to try and get the best possible items some of those runs are really really hard and if you are doing something like your one mythic plus a week that you have time for because of your outside obligations yep. you might end up with 35 anima now blizzard knew this they absolutely knew this which is why the great vault was such a mystery to them i think we talked about it in a couple of videos during the alpha and the beta is that the great vault potentially could have offset absolutely everything by providing players with a choice of up to nine different items it was technically possible that a player within nine weeks could do one mythic plus or do a bit of a raid boss and then get absolutely bis gear from that very yep. very quickly and i'm not talking about close not quickly to though or Titan not quickly bis, that's a lie kind of like well there's still room for improvement but they can get they could get absolutely idyllic items very very quickly because they were presented with so much choice and i think blizzard was terrified they were terrified that the Great Vault could provide such rewards, meaning players were able to just be done with their characters very quickly through their own means. And therefore, everything else had to be dropped around it. Some of it maliciously, which I do believe the heroic and <laughs> plus item level changes were done maliciously. Has that paid off? Depends who you are. RNG is RNG. Yep. Some people, like me, did get their weapon from the Great Vault. However, 
other people getting nine choices every week have managed to get things that are the best item in there duplicates where their legendary is and therefore is useless they've had the same sort of items they already have appear in there and some of them have just had no good worthwhile rewards from the great vault at all so let me comment on the great vault i love the concept of the great vault i do i think the great vault is awesome i think that the fact that, like, even if you only do the first three bosses, there's a chance you might get Denathrius trinkets out of your Great Vault. I, I, I'm okay with that. The problem is, just like Preach just mentioned, is the fact that you might get a piece of gear that you just don't need. And this is the problem that Blizzard has once they got rid of Master Loot, is Blizzard is now in charge of what you get and when you get it. And when they reward you with a piece of gear you already have, or already have the same amount of level in a slot, is essentially a waste it really is. If you're not progressing your character every single week, if you're not getting some type of upgrade on your character every single week, it's a wasted week. It really is. And that was always going to be the case with a still RNG-based system. But that's not my big issue here. I actually think Blizzard is toying around with gear right now. And I do believe over the course of the Shadowlands, it's, it's, true. it's going to change. It's true. This is going to be one of the things that they're changes. going to be tweaking around. Maybe we should add another item to M+. Please, God, do that because... I'll be honest with you guys, and I don't know how you guys feel. I play with some wonderful, wonderful players of this game. And when they suggest, does anybody want to go for an M plus spam to get some gear? Now, in this week, not really. I kind of just want to get the weekly done and then ease off a little bit. Because 35 anima, some of these runs are costing thousands of gold. If you're doing some of the harder runs where you're pushing potions and things like that, mm -hmm. you're paying maybe up to six to 7,000 gold for a run. That can happen. And you're getting 35 anima out of it? Yeah. Not so much. Now we'll come back. Now this is the case in point for something like a Valor Point system. Where, okay, he didn't get anything out of this gear and the Great Vault kind of supplements it. But at the end of the day, there's got to be some safety net for when the, great, when the boss drops fail and the Great Vault fails. There needs to be some type of safety net. And that's why Valor has always been the best option for gearing because... It gives the players something to work towards. It gives them, hey, you earn this currency, you spend it the way you want to spend it. Because uh, it's just like working at a job, right? You save up your money, you get what you want eventually. And it's like, okay, you know what? I may not, I don't have to target this, uh, those boots because I can just get it with Valor or something like that. And it just, you, you work it within your own system how you want to do it how you want to progress your character because right now everything is blizzard's going to tell you what you get when you get it and that's not rewarding and that's going to cause people like me to get frustrated back to that because there is a simple way to solve it and as i said i think blizzard is kind of toying around with what the reaction is so people are saying it's based on classic and this is where i do think blizzard missed a trick in classic raid or die was the mantra now what people mean by raid or die is if you really want to upgrade your character you need to raid. That's the only way you can get it done. Outside of that, there's nothing much to do. But that's not even entirely true. And a lot of Classic players will tell you this. What Blizzard did cleverly, and they learned towards the end of Classic that this is a good thing, is they gave some alternative paths to decent gearing, yes. which people could take part in outside of that organized raid environment. Shadowlands has none of that. Yes. And I think that's Thank really you. where they Thank you. The trick. <laughs> Thank you. We are currently in the environment, which I would honestly agree... We are kind of in a raid or die environment. Even if you spam Mythic Plus endlessly and get the best gear you can get from there, it's still... So I don't necessarily think raid or die is a bad thing, but there needs to be some type of supplement that everyone can get their hands on. A currency. Valor. That's the answer here. Not great. For the amount of effort and content and difficulty you're dealing with, it's not particularly rewarding. It's not. You would rather be heroic raiding or mythic raiding. It's as simple as that. That's just the nature of how it is right now. You Sure, you can gear up from your Great Vault, but that's a, a one-and-done dopamine hit on a reset day. It's not particularly fun to do so. What can you do outside of M plus and raiding? Well, you can PvP, but you're not going to get the good stuff until you get very, very good at it. Now, the argument is always going to exist that the absolute most difficult and the highest skilled content in RPG should reward the best stuff. I happen to agree with that, but... That doesn't mean that the difference between that and everyone else should be astronomical. That doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me at all. I think people should be able to chase stuff at very high. Probably not to the mythic level or to the absolute best level, but pretty close. To the point where they're not squashed by those players. I think that's a good line. If you're getting squashed by somebody because they mythic raid and you only heroic raid, or you do mythic plus at the highest level, that doesn't make sense to me. 
A lot of those dungeons are extremely difficult, and the same with PvP. Once you start playing at the highest levels, it gets very, very complicated, and you need to do a lot of stuff. They shouldn't be too far away if you just want to gear up and you're not quite as good as those guys. I think that's totally fair. But right now in the Shadowlands, there's nothing to get outside of those environments. Nothing worthwhile. We have Renown sets, which are 50 item levels below getting Mythic quality gear. And they're gated by time on doing your Renown. Now, that will ease up over time, but it's still not good gear. Heroic Dungeons, M+. That's it. There's nothing. There's nothing for people to chase outside of some sort of organized content. Now, I know it's an MMO. And are you being hypocritical? No. There's a line to be drawn. Because I'm also not saying that things like gaining gems should give you mythic quality gear like we saw in Najatar. That was ridiculous as well. There's a line to be drawn in the middle here. There's some sort of fine line where players, which they could do in classics, chasing some of those epic items down, some of the crafting you could do, especially in the Burning Crusade. Professions are woefully mm -hmm. useless in the Shadowlands, and they shouldn't be. Chasing all these things down that you could do on your own if you want to and get you really good stuff, maybe not the best stuff, is worthwhile. If it takes some effort and it takes you on a different journey, that's fine. We have legendary items in the Shadowlands. Now, the legendary system encapsulated with itself is really good. I like the legendary system. It's We're not looking bad. to start crafting it's off pieces bad. if you want to. As long as you get the effect, you don't need to upgrade the item level too high and you can put your soul ash elsewhere. The only issue with it, I would say, is the rather tedious Torghast grind. That's something I don't look forward to any week. And I love Torghast. I just don't like the way it's done for yeah. soul ash. That's the only difference. Yeah. But outside of that, what can we do? What I'm okay with the legendary system. Do? Are they expected to grind M plus? Because that's a big investment. They can maybe do one, two a week. They're hoping for the guild vault and that's it. What can they do outside of that? World quests are completely useless. Yeah. Even when they upgrade, they're still going to be useless compared to just doing... I keep like saying, that's what the plus. third or fourth time that's I've said Valor points, man. Either. And outside of that, there is nothing. I think Blizzard really missed a trick here in providing mm. some stuff that's open world that's not as good, but is something people could go on. I would look to the tier point five quests as a good entry into that, into Classic. When they brought them in, they were really popular. They boosted people up to a good, solid raid level without requiring too much effort outside of it. Badges and gems, upgrade systems, are probably worthy of making a return. It's probably time <laughs> they did that. If we look exclusively yes. at dungeons and PvP, Thank you. where they're taking up to nine weeks to gather a full decent set of 200 gear doing PvP, if we look to those, those guys are doing potentially hours and hours. And I'm sure there's some people watching right now who've done maybe 10 plus dungeons and got nothing out of it but yep. 35 anima. Those guys need some sort of backup. If their system is to remain, they need some sort oh, of backup where they can... These guys, get out of my head, Preach. Because even if they didn't get the drop they wanted, get out of my they still head. work. So let me, let me just pause it here really quick and just say that, um, that part of the problem with not having a backup system is you get into a position where you have a, a casual player like me. I consider myself now a casual player because I'm not playing that many hours. I still have heroic dungeon blues and I'm doing normal and sometimes a, a little bit of heroic rating on my demon hunter. That's not good after a month. Like that doesn't make me feel good about my character and it's not going to help me continue to progress if I can't fill those slots. And of course, I guarantee you in my Great Vault, I'm not going to get those slots filled in. Um, I need, I have 171 boots on my Demon Hunter and a 171 chest on my Warrior. I guarantee you I'm not going to get those slots um, on my Great Vault. But I would be okay with that if I knew after a week I could grind Valor badges and just buy it. Something that needs to take place. Are either the loot needs to go up in Mythic Plus at least so yeah, that it's worthwhile. I'm okay because with that. Right now, what I'm seeing, and I've spent Mythic hours Plus hours should not be uh, opinions, a supplement for heroic or Mythic Raid. They have run so many Mythic Plus dungeons and just got nothing worthwhile. And the only drop they got was the one they already had, or it was <laughs> in a legendary slot, or it was just worse than what they already had in the first place. And they're doing it over and over again. It's got bad stats, and certainly the raiding is in a similar scenario as I got a neck. It was just bad stats. That was the only drop I got. I couldn't trade it to anybody. All these early problems, which are early problems and will alleviate in time, but it's still not going to be good. I'm sitting here. Gear is a problem. I'm feeling it myself. Yep. As I said, if I'm in a situation where I would rather do something else than play with my friends and do dungeons and maybe get some people some upgrades because the chances of that happening are so ludicrously low, even if we play exceptionally well, I'm not interested. 
My friends aren't interested. And hope is waning on what should we do here. Are we going to just be farming heroic and mythic forever just to get some stuff up? And when it comes to alts, sure, the game is alt friendly. We can get our alts all caught up within a single week. We can be up to date with where our main characters are in terms of all the background, background stuff besides Torgas Solash. We can do that in a week. Shall we jump into Swim Plus for some fun? Is it worthwhile? Should we do an alt raid? Mm. Can I work on something else? Mm. And that's the feeling I'm seeing everywhere. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, so we man. We probably need some adjustment. But I'm not putting the stake in it yet. Blizzard's trying something. They're sciencing it. They're trying to figure it all out. And I do want to see what you guys got. Did you, has your guild vault literally rendered nothing, despite the fact that you've done so much stuff to unlock all those options? Or you, what is your feelings on this? Because So, um, to answer Preach's question, and I've said this in the video, my, my answer to this question is, um, once again, what Blizzard could easily do um, outside of creating a new system of badges or some other type of content is just put some type of bad luck protection in the loot that you get. I mean, is it that hard for Blizzard to say, hey, you know what? If you have an item level 200 boots, we're not going to give you item level 200 boots if the system detects that you've got 171 hands or something like that. Why keep rewarding player, not rewarding players with gear that they, with, you know, gear that they need, given the gear that they need? To get their item level up i mean why is that so hard why can't they do that now i've thought about this before and before they got rid of master loot when master loot was still a thing the i accepted the fact that when a boss dropped gear it, it could drop anything from its loot table i mean i've seen int leather bracers drop off of a mercius a million times in siege of Okamar. but i was okay with that because i knew that that was just the way the game worked the problem is, is that all of these systems, the, the Great Vault, Mythic Plus, um, raiding and organized raiding, LFR, every single time, Blizzard determines who gets gear and what they get. And that's not great if you're going to reward them with gear that they don't need. And that's my stance on this whole issue is stop... Um, Stop dicking us around with gear. Give us upgrades. And the thing, and here's the crazy thing. I've got two tunes that are that are like 190 item level, right? My Demon Hunter, my Warrior. I would have my Warlock up and ready if it didn't take so long. I would want to roll more alts and try out all these covenants if the gearing system was a little bit more rewarding. Just change the bad luck protection. That's it. That's all they have to do. All this other stuff is fluff. It's hard to create a badge system. I get it. To try and make it fair and try to create gear. I get it. That's a lot of work. Just add some type of bad luck protection code, and that's it. And that's all I have to say about that. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.